Journalist with us now is Dan McLaughlin, our political correspondent. Taking a look through the papers this morning, Dan, across Greater Manchester and the North West. We'll start off then with the Daily Mail. They've gone with UK banks named in football Bronnybury scandal. This, What's that all about, Dan? This is the story that's going to dominate every headline on every newspaper today. It is obviously the FIFA scandal. The presidency elections is happening today. But before that happened, um, FIFA officials were arrested as part of an investigation into bribery. Now, the Daily Mail uh, um, implicates UK banks into here, saying the bribery actually went through UK banks, Barclays and HSBC, allegedly. So, I mean, it personifies how important the story is, is when you've got the headline well, if you about that, football, <laughs> and then you've got the typical Daily Mail story of Princess Michael of Kent having just wearing an eye patch because of eye surgery. Well, classic Daily Mail, really, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it wouldn't be the Daily Mail without it. Um, massive story, then. Well, it's a massive story because it's dominating the front pages, dominating the back pages <laughs> as well, asking to vote <laughs> set black. If you take out. a look at that, yes. um, you can yeah, see that there. It's also on the back of the paper. It's, it's an editorial story. to ask for the elections to vote to set Blatter out. Well, it was in the papers yesterday. If we take a look yeah. at The Guardian, one of my favourite papers, actually. Um, here we go. We cannot allow the shame to go on any longer, so I'll stay. Yeah, this is a quote from Seth Blatter where um, he's under an enormous amount of um, pressure with these elections, but he's still very, being very defiant, saying he'll stay on no matter the controversy. He's been in the role 17 years. I don't think he's going to budge. Really? Do you reckon, Dan, this whole you know controversy around this is going to potentially stop uh, the World Cup? Yeah. Well, you had the UEFA president Michel um, Platini say that actually European teams might boycott the World Cup. That's FIFA's cash cow. They'll mm. be losing a lot of money. So you might not see European teams playing the World Cup because of what's happened with the alleged bribery. Well, that's absolutely mad. If we go with the the Times, yes, um, we've got again. The FIFA story, FIFA scandal yeah. triggers risk of World Cup boycott. Clearly, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's in all the papers. And um, Princess Michael of Kent again. And in the Times, Dan. Yes. In the Times. Well, you wouldn't expect that. But, but uh, I actually think the most important story is just below there, defence spending to be cut by an extra £1 billion. Now, before the Conservative government came in in 2010, they pledged that they would not cut defence um, funding. And now, five years on, second um, term, they, they they're cutting it by an extra, extra one, billion, one billion, pounds. billion pounds. There we go. And quickly then, Dan, if we take a look through the Metro, it's time to step down. Good title Fantastic there. Fantastic word from the there. Metro. Yes, where every editorial for every newspaper, especially in the UK, is saying, set blatter, you need to stand down. Although it's the elections, you need to go because of this controversy. Brilliant. There we go. Well, that's uh, this morning's papers, Dan. Clearly, the FIFA story is dominant amongst all the papers there. Um, but there we go. Thank you very much for coming in to talk to us about this morning's papers. Thank you for having me.